why don't you like black guys? Um, there's a number of things. I mean, okay. mainly it's... There's a number of things? Okay, <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let me get a ten fingers, a calculator, no. let me get this together. No, okay. I mean, it, it's mainly where I grew up. Where did you grow up? I grew up in West Hempstead. When I would have some friends that were Jewish, I would have some friends that were Catholic, but always white. Always white, okay. Right. I had maybe one or two black So friends. do you think that's it, that you grew up? predominantly around Caucasian men? Um, I mean, that could be it. Uh -huh. I can't say one factor contributes uh -huh. the most. Uh -huh. um, I mean, I partially dislike black men because of the media. Like what? Like pants sagging uh -huh. and uh -huh. like and that you, kind of stuff. Didn't you say that was an issue for you? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a turn off. Okay. It's, exactly what? What is the turn off? Just the whole look. Like the uneducated portion of African American males to the ratio of educated is really, really high. Mm -hmm. Like there's So no name way. a black man that you think is educated. He carries himself well. It don't you know it could be a celebrity, it could be local. Oh, okay. Um John Legend. John Legend. Okay. You find him educated. Yes. And name a black man that you find not educated. Um I'll probably go with 50 Cent. Your music portrays who you are. I get that he's talking about his realistic story, his realistic life, everything that happened mm -hmm. like in his childhood and stuff, mm -hmm. but he doesn't have to do it in a way that's so, like, it's so hard. 50 Cent has his own way of going about it, and mm -hmm. to me, that just, it, it's a bit of a turnoff because there's no real lyrics without profanity. Mm. If you are educated enough to the point where you don't have to use profanity to express who you are, mm -hmm. that's great. Mm -hmm. But I can also understand his lack of and using profanity maybe to make up for it. So you don't like black men because what exactly? I'm besides find them the attractive. Media, you don't, I don't find, find them attractive. You don't find black men. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess I'm horrible looking then. Okay, no. yeah, okay, uh, okay. I'm a little okay. No. Am I an attractive black man? Or no. no. Okay, and why not? You're attractive to me as a friend, mm -hmm. as someone that I could see myself confiding in, because you're also educated. You're an intelligent man. Mm -hmm. But I'm so physically, attractive. I'm up. No, physically okay. you're fine. Mm -hmm. Mentally you're fine. Intellectually you're. Golden. Okay. But <laughs> okay. To me. To you. You're just you're not attractive. But you prefer Caucasian men. Yes. Okay. But you say that black men you're not attracted to. What is it that you're not attracted to? Maybe the features. The features like what? Go into detail. The wide nose. Okay. The big lips. I don't know. Okay. So you don't like big lips. No, you don't no. like wide nose. What about? <laughs> okay. What about skin tone? Dark skin, light skin, still? Um, I mean, I, you, I, I could date someone that was lighter skin. Mm -hmm. Like, would you prefer and light skin? Would you prefer someone lighter skin? Mm -hmm. Like when I was in high school, I used to say that my type was light to white. Light to white. Why is that? Um, it just it seemed right. Like being. White in the society seems more accepted. Mm -hmm. And what about light skin? Do you think that's more accepted? Of course, because okay. it's closer to white. Light, damn near white. Well, white, damn near, <laughs> uh, light, damn near, well, you know that saying. You say it's better. As a black woman, mm -hmm. do you, are you insecure about um, being African American? Do you I think stereotypes? Okay. I used to be. When I was a kid, I used to be. Um, my dad came from here from Jamaica when he was seven, mm -hmm. and a lot of people used to make fun of his accent. And mm -hmm. He did things. Oh, what about your mother? She's from the Bronx, but damn. Mm -hmm. um, but like them together, and along with my family from. What everywhere. are the, what are the stereotypes um, of being an African American woman in particular? You have to do like these stereotypical things like, like what cook clean make babies mm -hmm. but do you think that's based on an african-american woman or do you think that's women period i think that's women period okay but what are the stereotypes for an african-american woman 
like I said, you cannot do anything a man can because it's even more expressed that an African American man is supposed to be head of the house. Because, going back to slavery and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. men were the head of the tribe. I gotta cross my legs for this one. <laughs> gotta, gotta, uh, 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 we in my clone dad. <laughs> when you look in the mirror, do you see a dark-skinned woman or do you see a light-skinned woman? I see me. Mm -hmm. I'm caramel. You're caramel. So that's what, is that, would you classify that as light-skinned or dark-skinned? I mean, it's in the middle. Okay. My mom is not necessarily dark, and neither is my dad. Uh huh. So I mean, I'm not like charcoal, but I'm not like yellow. What is the difference between a white man and a black man that you prefer a white man? Um, I mean, it, it's definitely the commodity factor where mm. white guys look at black girls and they're like, "Ooh, cuckoo for cocoa puffs." Okay. Like, but do, or do you ever fear that you you will be just that? Uh, oh, constantly. Mm -hmm. I've dated white guys that were racist before, that were hidden racists. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know I'm confused. <laughs> I know the world is confused, okay? I, I mean, you see this little hair that I got? <laughs> I know it's not much, but it's sticking up. Okay, hidden racists? Mm-hmm. Okay, go into details about that. Said they liked uh, African American women mm -hmm. and then would say everything in the book stereotype wise like about what? me. Like what? Um, things like, oh, do you have a big butt? Do you have white hips? Do you have big boobs? Can you cook me collard greens? Someone actually whole, said that to you? Can you cook me collard greens? A whole greens? bunch of things. I've heard so many things. But you still prefer Caucasian? So if Denzel Washington or any <laughs> man, Tay Diggs or Idris Elba, as you said, oh my God, she, we had an off camera moment. I said, uh, oh my God, and she had the holla, she don't even got no hair, she had the hallelujah scream with, of Idris Elba, the actor. And you said, if, he, if they, any of them was to walk through the door, would you give them the time or day? Of course. But, Not because they're famous, but because I respect them. Okay, but you said that you don't like, uh, black men nose, black men lips, mm -hmm. the dark skin. I respect them. I respect what they've done in their lives, the mm -hmm. accomplishments they've made. Mm -hmm. Of course. But physically, are you attracted to them? Not really. No. Mm -hmm. What famous man are you attracted to? Well, you just said okay. To all the black guys out there, what is your message to them? I want you to look in that camera and tell them. Um, keep hope alive. Education, education, education. People respect you when you're educated. Mm -hmm. So what are your why. thoughts on men like Malcolm, Martin Luther King, Barack Obama? Do you think they are exceptional black men? Like one in a million? Or Pe people come by like that, it could be every day. We don't know because a lot of people don't give them the opportunity mm -hmm. because they're not necessarily school educated or like mm -hmm. school smart. Would you would you say that you're one of those people that would not give them a chance? Oh, of course not. Of course not. But you just said I prefer right. I don't judge people on who they are, but mm -hmm. uh, on what they are, mm -hmm. I judge them on who they are. Who on they the, are. The, the basis of their character, mm -hmm. their nature, their personality, how they work well with others. But that's just me. it though. You, you're saying that, but you also say, well, I don't like black guys. I prefer this. Right. You're saying I want this and not that. But now you're saying, well, I, I don't judge on, on I judge on characteristics, you know, right. qualities. So do you think that you are a contradiction to some extent? Without saying I'm a hypocrite, yes. Um, yes, I prefer white guys. But that mm -hmm. doesn't mean I'm going to pick a white guy over a black guy. Mm -hmm. Do you love being a black woman? It makes me stronger, yes. It makes you, okay, but do you love being a black woman? Yes. Why? I'm healthy, I'm educated, and because my mom tore my ass up, okay. I'm disciplined. 
But we gonna edit that out. I don't want no uh, child abusers calling my line talking about you beating this girl. We gonna edit that out. What are some of the good things about black men that you can say? They're um, emotionally strong. Emotionally strong. They've taken a lot of hits. Like what? Um, not only the racism, but the negativity from racism. Like being uneducated and like having a little bit of uncouth. To the, to the black men out there, what do you say if they may classify you as a race traitor? I have ancestors that are white as well as black. I have Chinese ancestry. I'm not a race traitor because I'm a product of different races. Mm -hmm. And to the white men out there, what is your message to them? Come holla! Okay. Well, you heard it. As she says, come holla, I better get the hell out of here. I am Marcus Ward, and this is... Patrice Brown. And this is what show? This is the Marcus Show. Well, let's include the last name, Ward. Well, this is the Marcus Ward Show. Yes, yes. That's a wrap.